Hi everyone, welcome to the accumulation data analysis for 5th of June. Today almost the market recovered half the losses that it had made yesterday. Many people are saying that it is a dead cat bounce. Usually you don't have a dead cat bounce after just one day of fall, right? Usually one day or two days of fall are considered as panic falls. That is quite clear from what we are seeing because of the market felt that probably NDA might not make the government and that is the reason you saw a big drop. But today we have recovered almost half of it because NDA is kind of forming the government as of the as per the latest news that we are hearing. So let's get started. Let's see what the data is telling us and how we should be playing it in the coming days. So first the India VIX, India VIX almost crashed 30%. So great for option sellers, but not really that great for option buyers. It has started cooling off somewhere around 18. I feel somewhere around 15, 16 or even lower, let's say around 12, 13 is where this should settle eventually. Right. So that is about the India VIX. So what is India VIX telling us? It is telling us that the market is not expecting any surprise in the coming days. They are feeling that NDA is going to form a government and things should be as Per what they were before now coming to the nifty analysis so nifty what it did as you can clearly see opened a little gap up after that it kind of retraced back to that 21800 mark right before kind of continuously moving up right around that 22400 mark you saw a little dip but after that we close at the highest day highest point of the day so if you look at the daily chart here you can clearly see that it has kind of come back into that same parallel channel range, right? So what was very important yesterday was this horizontal line that I've drawn around 21,800 mark. Since that was not breached, that gave hope to the big guys that, okay, it is not that bad. And today we saw almost half of it being recovered in one single candle. So this candle is called as a bullish Harami candle. And usually it is considered as a very good reversal candle. So looking at this particular chart, what I feel is it should continue to start trading in this range, probably do a small retest of this um, parallel channel bottom and again move up higher because there is nothing that the market should be really concerned about right now unless it is like some global news that is going to kind of bring the markets down. So markets are now going to focus back on the global markets, the GDP numbers and things like that and not really be worried about who is forming the government. So if you look at the large cap data, a little, uh, I would say around the same levels, it is nothing to really worry about, right? Although if you look at the FII DI number, there is a big FII cell number today as well around 5000 crores. But that is kind of coming down from what we saw yesterday, right? But good thing is the DIS have bought today. They were actually sellers yesterday. Probably even they were kind of scared as to who will form the government. But looking at today's buying, they are pretty sure that the NDA is forming the government and they are going to rule it for the next five years. So the best performing sector today was the metal index, which was up almost 6%, 5.75% today. And it is up again back above the breakout that it had around that 9,371 mark, right? So the metals also look good for the coming days until and unless we have positive global news that the global economy is kind of recovering and stuff. Even the bank nifty, so the bank nifty, again, it has come back in that parallel range and again, a bullish Harami pattern, what you're seeing on the charts. So looks like even the banks, especially the private ones can continue to move higher here coming to the mid cap analysis so mid caps like i mentioned in yesterday's video since it had not breached that 48 750 mark it is it was positive for the bulls even the data was good right so today we saw a very good recovery almost 4.3 percent up for the mid caps most of the mid cap stocks were up close to like 7 8 10 percent as well right and the data Although the data has kind of dipped, but it is better than the average we can say, right? So nothing to be really worried about if you look at the mid cap data, right? So the 
uh, chart is also bullish even the data is good nothing to really worry about and if you look at the distribution even that has cooled off although it is still a little above average so here one needs to be pretty careful and not buy anything that they want probably the market is becoming stock specific so in that case what is going to happen is once where the big guys are backing it up with the data right so those uh, would be the ones you would want to play right not go and play everything you would want to play those where the data is strong right now coming to the small cap analysis see so the small cap after breaking down from this rising the rising wedge right it is actually quite a bearish formation that it has formed but the today's candle is pointing at more gains for the small cap index probably it can do a retest of this right or it can go back up almost to the highs it had ever made right around that 17,600-700 mark right before kind of falling back down right so this is about the small caps again a bullish haramic pattern stick which tells us that there is a reversal in place right even the 30 wma line right has kind of helped all these indices to kind of bounce back up again from the lows that they hit yesterday so even if you look at the small cap data it has kind of cooled off it is not as strong as what we saw yesterday right yesterday was somewhere near the 200 levels now it is somewhere around the 100 levels right because usually uh, what happens is once the move is done probably the big guys are not pushing in so much money that they kind of push it at the lower levels so that is the reason why you are seeing this happening but nothing to be really worried about here what you can do is back the ones where the accumulation is strong and they should move even higher so in summary what i feel is probably the market is not going to trade at the same valuations which it used to do when bjp had more than like let's say 272 seats now it is more of a coalition government they have to kind of keep everyone happy there so the sectors which were like overvalued let's say railways defense psus those most of the power stocks also those are going to take a back seat or let's say the valuations are going to become a little reasonable once where the valuations were reasonable probably they will get more accumulation in the coming days and they should see a good bounce right so this is what i feel about the market right now the up move in the small mid and the large cap should continue maybe have one small pullback to just to make sure that the weak hands can be kind of thrown out of the market unless there's a big news that kind of tells us that probably nda is not making government in that case you would see a lot of pain coming in but as of now the data also doesn't point at that there would be a decent bounce in the coming days and you can position yourself accordingly thank you